Is it possible that Donald Trump's fans can defend him without resorting to defending rape and anti-Semitism? Check this out. Leave your comments, ding the bell, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And Scott in Miami, it says here you disagree with me, so you go to the front of the line. What's up? Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Hartman. Thank you for taking my call. Uh, today I find as a sad day when I reflect on President Trump's uh, uh, administration. President Trump has been tortured mercilessly since day one. No other president of the United States, Mr. Hartman, has been as hated and as maligned and as persecuted as President Trump. There's a list of villains here that have that, gone on. Scott, that could be because no other president of the United States has been as corrupt and criminal and, and frankly, gross. I, I don't recall any president of the United States having over 20 women accusing him of rape. Do you? I mean, we got a rapist uh, in the White House right now. Well, 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 well let me just look. Look, look at I don't recall any other president of the United States having been convicted of fraud and his children having to take a class as a result of that conviction, in addition to paying huge fines, um, uh, for running a phony charity and taking the money and putting it in their own pocket. Do you remember any president who ever did that? Uh, there have been presidents that have had uh, their, 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 their problems with, with the law. We all know Richard Nixon, what happened to him. Uh, they said that President Harding, uh, just an example, he had an affair with Nan Britton, Thomas Jefferson had an illegitimate child with Sally Hemings. President I'm not Obama talking about illegitimate children or affairs. Bill Clinton had one of those, too, and he got impeached over it. Um, I'm talking about rape. You have a rapist in the White House, and it sounds to me, Scott, like you're calling to defend him. I'm baffled. It's a pre you know, it, 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 under American law, a man is innocent until proven guilty. Uh, until, until this tangible, also they claim that uh, there was a w woman who was raped by Joe Biden. So uh, uh, that, 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 that hangs over Biden's head as well until the man is. There, there, are, there are no charges against Joe Biden that, uh, that I know of, certainly. I, you know, anybody can say anything. But when somebody brings it to court right now, you've got a woman who is uh, uh, actually you've got over 20 women who are actually suing Donald Trump, begging this to come into the courts. Uh, and, and E. Jean Carroll actually has a dress with Donald Trump's semen on it from when he raped her, and, and he's refusing to, uh, to supply a DNA sample. <laughs> it's, and, and that's just the rape part. I'm frankly even more grossed out by the way that he's corrupted our country and he's held up authoritarianism as, as if it were the American way. When it's not, this country was founded on a rejection of authoritarianism. All I know is this what Russian what, collusion. Scott, they, what possibly causes you to want to defend this man? I'll tell you why. Because since day one, as I was saying, this man has been persecuted ruthlessly. Russian collusion is a hoax. It's a phony thing. We know that. And, and, and they use this to... Well, this actually, it's not a hoax. His, his son came out and said, yeah, you know, I had a meeting with them. You know, we, we, uh, you know he, he, he was trying to get... He was trying to get dirt on Hillary Clinton from them. He said that in public. That's colluding with a foreign power. You know, the Mueller report also documents 10. Actually, if Trump wasn't president, he could be he could be put in prison for every one of those 10 points where they said, here are 10 examples of when Donald Trump himself tried to obstruct justice, tried to impede this investigation, or succeeded in obstructing justice, succeeded in impeding this, this investigation. I mean, you know, there's no hoax there. Donald Trump and his and his criminal family were reaching out to Russia, asking them to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. He did it publicly in a speech, for God's sake, Scott. Let me ask you a question. If you've got the New York Times, owned by the Salzberger family, Michael Bloomberg, and you've got the Jewish media stacked against you, the world will believe anything. Oh, my God, Scott. You know, that's your... I'm sorry, I cut Scott off, which is something I rarely do with, with conservatives. I love having conversations with conservatives, but uh, when you when you go to anti-Semitism and start you know doing your rant about the Jewish conspiracy and all this kind of stuff, uh, you've just stepped over a line that I I just will not allow on the on this program. That five million people died. My father joined the army to fight against Hitler, who had killed five million people with that very conspiracy. That was the big lie that brought Hitler to power in 1933, was, and, and, and that started, I mean, you know, this was the big lie that Hitler laid out in 1924 
in a beer hall in Munich when he when the, he he invited all his friends to come and and he got up on a table and fired a gun into the ceiling, which got everybody real quiet, and then he gave an hour long speech about how Germany hadn't actually lost World War One, that they were on the verge of victory. Now Hitler was a soldier in World War One. In fact, he was gassed and injured and ended up in the hospital as a result of it. Uh, of it. So he, he had some authority to speak, or at least that's what people thought. And Hitler said, you know, we were ready to win the war. We were very close to winning the war. We almost conquered all of Europe, but we were sold out. We were stabbed in the back by Jews and communists. I, or so, actually, the word he used was socialists. Jews and socialists stabbed Germany in the back. That was Hitler's sales pitch in 1924. And as he stood on that table in that beer hall, yelling about the Jews and the Jewish conspiracy, he got the mob all cranked up, and they left the beer hall, and they marched down to the seat of a Bavarian government, the, 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 basically the state capital there in Munich, and tried to seize the capital building and seize the state of Bavaria. Exactly what happened on June 6th, uh, January 6th, right here in the United States. They were unsuccessful. The, the police and the, and the Bavarian army stopped them. Adolf Hitler was arrested. He went to Lansdow, I believe it was called, prison. For, for, he was sentenced for two years. I think he served about a year. But he continued to promote this conspiracy theory, that it was the Jews and the socialists who, who went in and negotiated the deal on behalf of Germany to surrender, when in fact Germany was winning the war. That was his big lie. Just like Trump has his big lie now that an election was stolen from him by voter fraud by black people in majority black cities like Milwaukee and Detroit and, and Philadelphia and, uh, you know, whatnot. And that big lie of Hitler's led directly to the death of five million people, or six million people, six million Jews. I, I, arguably the death of, the, I, I believe it was about 40 million people in total who died in World War II. I'm, I, maybe it was 20. I, I'm sorry, I don't recall you know, all those statistics. But. So when people call into this program and start promoting Hitler's old big lie, 